welcome to the Queen City of the South. Thank you for taking the time out to fly here in Cebu with us, uh, Hyundai Motor Philippines. During this drive, uh, we would like to discover the, the city of Cebu, fall in love again with the Hyundai Creta and Hyundai Stargazer. So today will be the motorcade, tomorrow, there will, there will be island hopping activities. At the same time, tomorrow is your opportunity to do the shoot. First leg of the journey, we are going to be driving the Hyundai Creta and this is the top of the line trim of the Hyundai Creta, complete with everything. You have your digital instrument cluster, you have a very responsive touchscreen, you get leather everywhere. And first impressions upon driving this car, power is pretty good for a car of its size. The power response, the throttle response is a little bit disappointing if you put this car into eco mode or even normal mode. But the very moment you put this car into sport mode, it just transforms into a completely different beast. The throttle response becomes extremely responsive and the intelligent variable transmission, which is like a very intelligent version of a CVT transmission, just excels at providing you a near automatic transmission like feel. The simulated shifts are very crisp, you really feel it, and it just feels very natural. There's absolutely no rubber banding that you will feel inside the Creta. Also, this car is really geared towards comfort because the suspension is pretty soft, there's a lot of float in it, but for some reason, there also seems to be a little bit of firmness to it, but that firmness does not translate to handling. Also, speaking of handling, your steering, this is an electronic power-assisted steering system and it's incredibly light. But unfortunately, there is zero feedback from it. And even if you put this car into sport mode, it does not tighten up in any way. And for fuel economy, we are able to return 11.3 kilometers per liter. And this is with a lot of attempted overtakes because apparently Cebu South Road is not a great road for a convoy. As for NVH, vibration and harshness is pretty acceptable inside the Creta, but when it comes to noise though, it does start to creep in right here, especially with tire noise at around 40 kilometers per hour. But do take note that the roads of Cebu South Road isn't exactly the best. This is close to being gravel already. But when we did drive this on CSCR, the one outside SMC side, I believe, uh, it was still pretty quiet, even up to speeds of around 70 kilometers per hour. All right, first stop right here for the driver change in Shell Poblacion Naga. I'm not too familiar with the area. The next one is going to be driving is Julian Panilio from Auto PH. The mountains of Cebu are just so captivating. It's like a mix of Baguio and La Union at the same time. We made our way to Lakeview La Jardin Cafe and Restaurant where we were greeted with lots of tasty food. This was even followed with lots of lechon as well. Of course, it's Cebu. Time to photo shoot the Stargazer in Creta, but first, some jewelry making. The jewelry making was later on followed by a media photo shoot with a drone shot by the side of the mountain. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Stargazer, we didn't get to drive it, but we got to ride it. And the back seats are pretty spacious, very comfortable, you can recline. You got two USB ports right here. You even have a tray table that can accommodate three and a half kilograms. On the side, you get lots of these cup holders, three plus one more. You even have some small pockets for wallets and a bigger map pocket for a laptop. We are able to try it on pretty bad roads and it was still A-OK, -okay, very comfortable. I love the ride in the Stargazer. Finally, the part we've been waiting for, driving on CC Lex or the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. Looks absolutely stunning in the day, but better even at night. And right here, we even got the special privilege of having yet another photo shoot. And it looked like we were looking at Hong Kong or Singapore from the other side of the island. Dusitani Hotel, quick dinner, and then day two, the fun part. We started off with breakfast, followed by island hopping. Incredibly fun, but uh, there was a little bit of a hiccup when it comes to the boat. There was a storm that brewed, but we also got to do snorkeling. Capping off the experience was a lunch at a private looking island, and that's about it. We absolutely enjoyed our time here, as well as our time driving the Hyundai Creta and the Hyundai Stargazer.